is DDK and I'm back today with another video. Shout out to you for tuning in. If you're not subscribed, do me a favor and smash the subscribe button. Also, give me a thumbs up. It's time for us to get to these bucks. In today's video, we are gonna be doing some multi-apping and we do not have the van. We are in a SUV and we about to go ahead and get busy. So, we're gonna see how much cheese we are going to get. And shout out to everybody that is legit. Guess what? We got order number uno. We're trying to get our pockets fat like sumo. Guess where we going? To Osco. We can count no people who care. We about to get busy in here. Jewel Osco, we are picking up three items, driving 3.1 miles for 9.06. We pulled up, it's time to get in the mix, let's go. Just like that, we are here at Jewel Osco. We can count no people who care. We about to get busy in here. It's been a long time since we've been in here, baby. Long, long time, but guess what? This also contains alcohol. So we gotta do what we gotta do so we can ball. It might be a rule of awakening. And it's going to an apartment, that's another thing. So we're gonna see. How you doing? I'm doing great. Um, I have a pickup for uh, Linda MI. Hopefully ain't got no, no case of water. And guess what else guys? We don't have all of the stuff that we need. We don't have our wagon. We don't have our bags or any of that stuff because guess what? It's all in the van, but it's okay, baby. We ain't complaining, we maintain it. We're going back to the basics. Back to the basics, baby. <laughs> there you go, honey. Thank you. <laughs> yes, ma'am. This thing's alcohol or something, right? Yeah. Y'all about to let me run off of these people's stuff. I was like, wait a second. Thank you. Grab that. Bop, bop. Grab this. Go right there. Bop. All right, thank you guys very much. You guys have a good one. Let's go. Customer got us right with this cart. I remember this customer from before. We had a lot of issues with her ID because she's a senior citizen. So that's the bread right there. You gotta be careful. Uh, flowers. Okay. All righty. I need your ID. Yeah. I remember a long time ago, it's probably some years now, we had a lot of trouble with this ID thing. So. I know, I know, because there's no expiration date. Yeah. It's been scanning all right. Okay, lately. well hey, hopefully, hopefully. <laughs> One and done. It has been done. Yeah. It, it, it worked. worked. All right. <laughs> awesome. Thank you very much. You have All a great right. day. Thank you. You too, kiddo. You're welcome. So guess what, man? The customer saved us, baby. The customer saved us on that order. Just so you guys know, that order was on DoorDash. We went out there and had a blast, and we got that cash. Order number two, y'all know my flow sick like the flu. Guess what we about to do? Roadie, roadie, roadie with a devil wrench. We're about to do roadie. We're picking up a CVS order. We're dropping five miles, and we'll receive a payment of 1144. We pulled up, we're about to get dope. Uh, it's go, let's go. And we are here at CVS. Put the head, oh, oh. I done ran to that door. Look how slow it's going. That joint jank. I done ran into that door. It's all good, but to get dark. Moving too fast. Uh, we have to go to the pharmacy. Hello. Good morning. This joint even open? It's looking ugly. They got some big shades up. It might be critical, guys. Shoes. I think this joint closed. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. Block up. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This joint closed. They'll open till nine. Oh, they're gonna try to take us up top. They're gonna try to make us stand here all the way to nine. They are out of pocket. I hear somebody back there though. Let me see. Excuse me. You're close to nine. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I tried to pull it. One eternity later. Well, we are back going into CVS. I gotta take my time on this door now. Look. Let's go. So we're back. Um, they should be opening in like one minute. I want to be the first person in the line so we can get in and get out this joint. Good morning to you. Good morning. What's up? I'm gonna have a, a roadie order to pick up for Peter. Yeah. 
Mr. Get on at 9.15. It's not done, so you can wait around if you want to. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Guess what? We got us one on Frank! We about to get to this money though, hey! We got us one on Frank. Now, I'm, I'm, I look, 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 look. This is not the greatest order. I don't like, why you take that order? Mm, I already know y'all about to be in the comment section right now, baby. This is not the greatest order, but we have to do what we have to do to get an order sometimes while we are here on the ground. Now, about to see a shine. Now, we are going to Sherwin Williams. We are picking up four cans of paint, driving 23 miles for 30, 40, shorty. Let's go. Just like that, we are here at Sherwin Williams, baby, to get busy. Let's see if they got this joint ready. Honestly, my first ever freight order was a Sherwin Williams order. How you doing today? How you doing, boss? Um, I have a freight order to pick up. Freight order? Um, where is it going? It's going to Gurney. Going to Gurney. Um, let me see what I got for you. Give me just one second. All righty. Thank you. What up? So this is that delivery going to Gurney. Okay. And then there's that paperwork for it. All right. Thank you very much. Have a great one. You too. All right. Just like that, we are here at the drop off, which is another Sharon Williams. It's store to store. We get to this money, but we can never ignore. Good morning. I'm living a dream. I woke up this morning. I have a drop off for you guys. Okay. How you doing, Bob? Yeah. That's neat that you got that set up. Oh, uh, yeah, I, I got a YouTube channel. Oh, you do? Yeah. It's called Cars and Cribs. So I do deliveries and all that stuff. You need to say anything or are you good? Yes, sir. You just print your name right there, that sign. What's it? Cars to Cribs? Cars and Cribs. The best thing on YouTube. Do I get on there? <laughs> Why don't you get on there? I'm working on it. <laughs> Why you wait? What, what you waiting for? Do you have a channel already? No. What you waiting for? What you gonna do on there? My friend is helping. I'm, a, I'm an artist. So, for real? Yeah, so my friend's helping me like put myself out there. Cause I hate content creation. Like it's just not my thing. I want to create, like create my art and my paintings. Someone else do the other stuff for real. Me. Just gotta start. I'm yeah. telling you, just do it. Right, I'm gonna have to binge watch all your videos. Yeah, it's, no, it's nothing to do. Just start. Yeah, that's what I tell you. Hey, the old school saying ain't nothing to it but to do. That's the truth. Right. This is. I'm Jerome. Jerome, Aaliyah. Aaliyah. Nice all to right, meet you. nice to meet you. So it is a few days later, and shout out to all the haters. Now, as you guys can see, we're back in the van to get these mansions. I hope you understand. I'm gonna tell you guys about that. But first, let's talk about what we did on DoorDash and uh, Rody and also Frey. Got to that money though, hey? We barely made any money. We only was able to do two orders in about seven hours. We had some other stuff we had to do, but we did have all the apps on. We were trying to multi-app as much as possible, but the orders were just not coming in and letting us get them dividends. It was critical, baby. So, honestly, in my opinion, I feel like it is just a recession and everything is slow everywhere. That's in a cargo van, car, SUV, whatever vehicle you may be in, it is probably very slow in your area. Comment below and let me know. We only made $39.46 in about seven hours. We definitely did not make that money shower. It was very slow. We ain't get no dough. Now, I know you're wondering why were we in an SUV? We were in an SUV because we didn't have the van. If you guys haven't watched this video, uh, put that right there, baby. Make sure you click that link and watch that video. That is when we took the van in to get the maintenance done. Now, they have two different maintenances on the Mercedes Sprinter van. They have an A and they have a B. The A is usually like a hundred and some dollars and the B is pretty pricey. So it goes A, B, then A, B. Every 15,000 miles, you go back and forth, A, B, A, B, A, B. So for the B maintenance, we just paid $634.89. What does that consist of? They actually did a full inspection of the vehicle. We also got a oil change, a uh, replaced brake fluid, replaced cabin filter, and they inspected and rotated the tires. So, everything else was pretty good with the van. They said everything else was okay. And guess what else? They also fixed the sensor. Now, the rattling noise, they said they could not duplicate the problem. They said it is not rattling no more. When I first turned on the van on when I was in there though, it did make the rattling noise like eh, for one little quick second. Now, I know you guys are wondering, what is the rattling noise? I finally caught it on the camera. Here it is right here. Now, for all of my mechanics out there and all of my people who have Sprinter vans, have you guys ever heard this noise before? 
I don't know what it is. The van is brand new. I have no idea why it will make that sound. I kind of, kind of think it's the muffler. I don't know for sure, but it sounds so weird that I'm not used to the sound, so I'm not sure. Comment below and let me know if you know, baby. Also, I need you guys to start staying tuned and stick around because we ain't playing around. We do have some stuff that we will be unveiling on the channel, so stay tuned and stick around. The content possibly will, will be changing a little bit sooner than later. So, make sure you stay tuned and stick around. We're gonna take you guys on a journey with us. We are taking a leap of faith and doing something different that we have not done on a channel yet. And you guys do not wanna miss it. I always get these comments about this stuff, baby. So, you guys do not wanna miss it. So make sure you smash the subscribe button, give me a thumbs up. Also, click that notification bell so you guys know when I'm about to drop these videos. Make sure you give me a thumbs up, baby. We need to get pushed up on the YouTube algorithm so we can get that 100K before the end of the year. Because remember, 2023 is big bag season. We'll keep on giving a reason. I'll see you guys on the next one. We're going, we're going, we're flowing. You already know it. It's DDK, and I'm on my way.